Don't you just hate it when you're trying to recap your meeting notes and there's a team's rooms that's part of it, but you can't figure out who said what? Don't worry, speaker recognition's got you covered. Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's episode of Mo Mondays. In this week's episode of Mo Mondays, we are going to be talking about something which I spoke about in the last episode, which was speaker recognition for Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows. It has finally, finally landed, which is great. Um, if you don't know what speaker recognition is, it's Microsoft's way of being able to identify you via your voice or by your face uh, and actually attach your voice imprint to your identity. So when you're inside of a meeting room space and you're using transcribing as an example, um, instead of it saying meeting room or conference room 101 is talking, it'll actually say Mo Khalifa is talking because it recognizes my voice. Um, if you've never used recap before inside of a meeting, this is super, super, you know, uh, important and the way to do it. So let me go ahead and just share the slides with you and just show you what it looks like. This is what a typical meeting would look like. So for example, if I'm sitting at home, um, someone's switched on Copilot and transcribing is switched on. Uh, and there's also a Microsoft Teams rooms in there. If there's five or six people inside of that Microsoft Teams rooms, when they start talking, you can see it says here, conference room one, two, four, five wants to look at product roadmap. But who is actually saying that they want to look at the product roadmap? We have no idea. And that's really where the speaker recognition piece uh, comes in. Now, um, usually once you've finished a meeting, um, you'll have chat come up uh, and then you're able to click the chat and be able to actually see the recap. There's still a lot of people out there that don't know about recap. But let me show you exactly how you would go ahead uh, and do recap. For example, this here is my Microsoft Teams. I've obviously omitted a whole bunch of details because there is a live thing that I've got uh, going on here. Um, but for example, I had an NWE weekly meeting. Um, obviously, people were chatting in there. We had Copilot switched on. It was transcribing, etc. Once that call is ended, you simply go ahead and you hit that chat icon uh, and then select whichever meeting it is. Uh, and then across the top, you'll notice there's actually a button that says recap. If you tap that recap button, it will bring across your recordings. It will bring across the mood of the room. It will bring across pretty much all the notes and transcribing and comments and all of that sort of stuff will all literally be sitting there. That's your go-to place to figure out, you know, who said what. Now, of course, in uh, today's video, we're really talking about, well, how do you bring speaker recognition into a Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows? It is coming soon to other devices and um, um, uh, Android, I think it was 2025 um, that, that I last saw uh, on the roadmap, uh, but it's here today for Microsoft Teams rooms uh, on on Windows. Now, what are the most important things to know about speaker, speaker recognition? A couple of years ago, Microsoft announced uh, something called Intelligent Speaker. An Intelligent Speaker is a device uh, or a speaker, should be called Intelligent Microphone because it's using a microphone. Um, but there are many uh, kind of OEMs out there, Yaling, Sennheiser, EPOS, for example, they all launched uh, intelligent speakers and they would be connected to a team's rooms on Windows, generally in a small to a medium sized room. And it was able to pick up like 10 people. Uh, you'd use Teams to go ahead and do a voice imprint. Uh, and once you've done that voice imprint, when you were inside of a Teams meeting room on Windows, um, it would effectively recognize the people in the room, providing that you did the voice enrollment piece um, prior to it. The drawbacks on that is as great as that those devices are, because they still sell today, they're great in the small to medium sized room. But when you start getting to larger rooms, it does start to uh, struggle because I think there's a limitation of, of 10 voices it can it can pick up. Um, since this month, Microsoft has announced um, the intelligent speaker uh, functionality is now being rolled out across to any microphone. So as long as you are using a Teams rooms on Windows with certified microphones that are as part of that room, um, and you have uh, uh, speaker recognition switched on within your tenant, and I'll show you how to do that in a second, you, um, it will be able to pick up who said what and actually identify them without the need of actually having an intelligent speaker. Now, intelligent speakers, that doesn't mean that they're end of life or anything along those lines. They still have their place. They have their place in small to medium sized rooms. And if you want to, you know, have that sort of hardware and be quite specific, yes, you can absolutely use an intelligent speaker across there. Um, but now if you are using Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows with certified mics, that's the important piece, um, you are going to be able to use that speaker recognition piece. Um, okay, so let's talk about how you would actually go ahead uh, 
uh, and set it up. Um, as you can see here on screen, there's a GIF animation going on right now. You would actually use your uh, your Teams on your desktop, so the Teams desktop app, to actually enroll your voice and or your face uh, into the system. Uh, you simply go ahead and you hit that settings button. Uh, you go ahead and you hit the uh, recognition button and then go create voice uh, profile. And then you simply go ahead and just read the sentence that it has across there. Now you can do it multiple times to get a better recognition, um, but usually once you do it once, it's 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 good to go um so as soon as you've done that you can do exactly the same thing for your face as well if you want then um you um your voice will be imprinted to your identity so you know your 0365 identity will have a voice imprint assigned to it uh and then effectively wherever you go so whether you're using teams or if you're using uh, teams rooms on windows um it, uh, it will recognize your voice and then if you're transcribing inside of that meeting as well it will actually attach whatever you say with your name um so that's 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 a a, a kind of massive bonus so to give you an example now this time around you can see we're inside here uh, on a team's call and instead of it saying conference room 1245 was talking it now says mona was talking so you can actually see all right mona's the one that said it she's the person i need to go ahead and and um you know uh, grab hold of to get, get hold of any information etc now if you haven't done it already go ahead do try it out you hit that settings button within your teams um recognition uh, and then go ahead and set up your voice profile but i know some of you are going to turn around and say mo I don't see that option or it's grayed out. That would mean the IT administrator has not switched on the policy within the tenant. Now, if you are an IT administrator or you are talking to your customers about um, uh, voice recognition or speaker recognition, it's very easy for you to go ahead and set it up on the tenant. Now, everybody knows what I feel about PowerShell, but actually this is quite easy, right? So you go ahead and you connect to your Microsoft teams powershell so connect dash microsoft teams and you, you get into a powershell uh, and then there's a set of commands that you literally just do the first thing that we need to do uh is assign that policy to the rooms uh so you go ahead and you use the second command that we've got across there so set uh, cs teams meeting policy identity the identity after that the where it says mtr room us that would be changed to, of course, whichever uh, uh, resource account that you're using within that room. Uh, and then you follow the options across there. And then the last thing that you would do is actually uh, enable enrollment for users as well. So again, within the Teams meeting policy, uh, you'd allow the transcription to be true, uh, enable user override, enable, etc. It's all on the screen. It's pretty simple. It's two commands uh, that you would literally put in. Just be sure to make sure that you change the MTR rooms US to whichever room it is that you're putting in. Now, I will drop a link down below that actually shows the learn.microsoft.com com technical pages uh, that actually uh, has all the scripts there so you can just copy and paste and then just amend uh, where required but that will uh, if effectively enable the policy within the tenant uh, and then your users will have that voice um, uh, profile set up uh, button light up and then you're good to go uh, across there now there are a lot of customers out there that are a little worried they're like oh i don't know about voice i don't know you know if i want to have my data stored etc so there are some concerns around security but again don't worry microsoft's got you covered across here as well when we look at the security it follows the same path as all the rest of the data that's stored within your tenant so for example your voice and face data is stored in the same region uh, as your ms teams data so that's all teams so if you're in europe it'll be stored in european data centers if it's you US, will be crossing the US, etc. Uh, for those of us that are here in the EMEA regions or, or, or um, the Euro regions or the UK regions, it is GDPR compliant as well. So uh, that's a great thing. Uh, the voice and face data is also encrypted at rest and in transit um, as well. And of course, it follows all the Microsoft uh, privacy policies, etc. Um, but users are in control of their voice profiles, right? So uh, voice profiles can be unenrolled at any time by either the user or the IT administrator as well. You're in control of that. So even if an IT administrator has a policy where you can't unenroll, you can still go ahead and delete your data in there. That's fine. If it's an unused Teams account, um, it will auto delete after a year. So that's already in there as well. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it just follows all the, the the same security protocols as you would expect from from Teams. So if you haven't given it a bash, do make sure you go ahead and you try that out. Do talk to your customers. It makes your meetings way more richer now. Uh, so when you're inside of that meeting room that has a Microsoft Teams rooms on Windows on it, and you have this setup, um, your all your transcriptions are now going to be attached to an actual person as well. Uh, key thing to know: it will do up to about. 20 people, I believe it is, inside of uh, inside of a meeting to be able to attach um, identity to uh, a voice uh, across there as well. Uh, and the only thing, other thing that you need to kind of make sure is users need to be invited into that meeting. So if you have just joined the meeting willy nilly, uh, then then it's not going to be uh, working for you. However, if you are part of the original invite or even a forwarded invite, then it knows. Ah, I'm going to start recording. Mo's voice uh, if transcription is switched on and I will assign his voice to the identity uh, and whatever he said will show up uh, within the transcriptions across there as well. So nice and easy. I'm so glad speaker recognition is now here as well. I can't wait for it to hit the Android platform as well and other devices um, will be coming later on in the year and uh, moving into next year as well. Um, but it just keeps getting better and better and better. If you have any questions, by all means, do drop some comments down below. The Microsoft team is uh, is on this channel and generally will reply uh, at any point. Um, and of course, be sure to like, subscribe, and of course, comment down below. And I shall see you guys for the next one. Ciao.